I think you could read the number on this locomotive. It is 253005. It is an Intercity 125 and it is around 25 years old, this locomotive, with the original colours of what was done about 1976, 40 years ago. And what the interesting thing is on the side of this locomotive, it has also got 43010 which I think is rather unusual, it's got the two sets of numbers on. Now this is the driving unit, I've got this as a five coach set. They all work, the lights at the front work as well, which are usually white as it travels towards you, but at the rear they should be in orange or red, and when it's in reverse the colours are the opposite way around. Now I plan to have this locomotive, taking it to a local modeling job to have it DC fitted or DC ready and then I want to try and get it up and running on the layout. There you go. Now this is another Intercity 125 set which is 43072 on the front of the cab and on the side as you may notice is the Intercity logo and it has a swift on the side and if you notice the number down the bottom is 43072 also now I have had this one about 25 years roughly and I got a five coach set this is the driving unit by the way now I plan to take this to the local model shop and hope to have it DC fitted or DC ready and as with the other Intercity set loco this has the front lights and rear lights working as well and it's white at the front and orange or red at the back but when it's in reverse the colours are reversed now I plan to have this one I plan to do an update on this one soon on the layout as well now this is an intercity loco as well with the number 253042 on the front but on the side it has W43167 with the Intercity 125 logo. Now this is only a dummy car. Sadly I don't have the driving unit on this one. Now I plan to keep this as a bit of a side attraction on my layout as it can't be used for the time being unless I can get another driving unit for it and possibly some carriages. But there you go. Here we are. This is one of the oldest locomotives I have in my collection. This I bought for around about 30 quid in about 1976 or 77. And it is now approaching 40 years old. It's been a good runner in its times. But sadly I can't use it on the layout at the moment because it is not digitized. Now I plan to take this to a local model dealer around here near me and he reckons he could put this DC fitted or DC ready and if so I would like to get this up and running on the track. Now this is the Flying Scotsman which is number 4472 with LNER on the tender. LNER used to be in the old days I reckon stood for late and never early railways. Now, if you notice in the background, you will notice a set of four LNER carriages. Now, I had these carriages with this Flying Scotsman, you see, in the foreground. They're from about 1976. Now, this one here in the distance is a third and first class LNER corridor stock. Now, this one by here is a sleeping car which as it says on the side is first class corridor stock now this one here is a first and third class corridor stock LNER carriage and this one here is also a LNER third and first class brake coach corridor stock now I planned sometime in the future is hopefully get some lights in these coaches and maybe some seated people in here as well and hopefully get that up and running on the track. 
Here we are, this locomotive here is 5090 called Neath Abbey of the GWR class, 460 Castle class. Now then, I plan to take this to a dealer soon and have this DC chip, DC ready or DC fitted and hopefully get it up and running with these four carriages in the background. Now this carriage here is the Great Western type carriage which is first and third class corridor stock. This one here is also corridor stock which is a third class coach. This one here is also third class corridor stock and this one here is a corridor stock restaurant car. Now I hope sometime in the future is to possibly get these with lighting in the coaches and maybe some seated people in it and hopefully get an update on the internet for you on YouTube. Now then this locomotive is about 20 to 25 years old. My dad bought for me on my birthday at that time. This is a network South East Railway and it is the County of Norfolk number 47582. Now I'm hoping to take this to a model shop dealer who will hopefully have this DC fitted or DC ready. This is something I'm going to do in the future. Also what I would like to do, I got this HiMec class for you which is numbered D7063. Hopefully get that one DC ready or DC fitted and run it on the layout. And over here we have another HiMec class for you, D7063, and hopefully take that one to the dealer as well, and get that one DC ready or DC fitted, and have that one up and running on the trap. Now then, you may well notice by you that they have another Flying Scotsman, this is 4472 as well, but I do believe this one here one of them I got is definitely a tender driven locomotive. Now I'm not sure if I can get that one DC ready or DC fitted because the motor is actually in the tender on that one which is a bit of a, hmm, I won't say the word, a bit of a bummer. There we are, that's something for the near future that is.